ta-da, 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 ta-da. Hi, guys. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to SMC with Arewa. My name is Arewa. I welcome you to my channel. If you are new, can you click on that subscribe button and don't forget to on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever I drop a new video so you can come and check it out. Also, this is a Yoruba and English channel. So, make it in a moment. So, thank you once again, guys, for joining me. Thank you for your love. Thank you for coming back to this channel. Really appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget for any of your advert, your support, your donation, or any discussion, you know, whatsoever. My contact is going to be down below in the description box. And I'm also going to leave it lying around in the comment um, section area. Thank you once again, guys. Um, let's get into it. <laughs> Hey, Nigeria package Fessing legacy food. Bashenta, let them or let them on. Lamfani to our four or Lara to Ta. Latiwa Colopo Yantu, but you won't credit it. Tessie Marie, Loco Loco, Daddy, Mummy, who were in later Jack Baluda to get you on there. Emma Lago, you know, see the Latin legacy food. Nisha, as it debossed to us, but she, what is she? I want last say Baluda to Joe, you know what I say? Legacy food near Cossi, because we are modern and culture service provider. Lati Bawa Duro, a Cossi legacy food. To one in Nigeria, Lake Oland International Limited, Mesa Village, Kobake, Abe Kuta, Telephone 0902 022 5804. Tabilo Lady America, New Legacy African Market, 671 Bay Street, Thousand Island, New York, 10304. Telephone plus 192 935 35385. New Legacy Food, we said the legacy. Yabo Ojo, let's start with Yabo Ojo. Yabo Ojo came out to, uh, you know, pen down. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have um, a little cough, you know, flu. So, I might be with my voice is kind of cranky somehow. I have a little cough. Um, I got the flu, so. She wrote something and said, let me read what she wrote. And then I will share my own opinion. I'm too outspoken, too comfy, confessional, confre, confrontational, too blunt. It might be new, you know, English language is not really my language. So if I don't pronounce some words well, I'm sorry. I apologize, uh, you know, beforehand. So it might be new, my English is not that. English language, you she language in me, I learn it, so am I being too blunt? They say my opinion must not be hard unless it aligns with theirs. I must still silent or get crippled. The witch art, the witch art is eating deep into my soul, but then the eight screams louder. I fought for a girl child who was sexually molested i was labored bad and evil because one of my own yoruba senior colleague was accused again i chose to follow my heart and support lp in a labor party and the hate and resentment grew even worse and i was labored and omali yoruba and now i must pay a compulsory best of judgment based on my celebrity status by the layers of over 18 million personal income tax so now i have paid from so now i have to pay from 2014 to 2019 but i must pay the remaining of almost 18 million for 2020 to 2022 before the end of we are in 2023 so to say i must pay from i must pay Remaining of 18 almost 18 million for 2020 to 2022 before the end of November or go to court. Every effort on my part to reduce it was rejected, even when I had to forcefully accept it. 
My payment plan has also been rejected. I even had to write an apology later. Grab that point that she wrote an apology later. That is, let me read it, finish. Apology letter. Yet they refused to give me an easy payment plan. Now tell me if this is not which all thing and I'm supposed to stay silent. Since 2020, which was the COVID-19 lockdown season, who really made money? Tell me. If I had made so much, I wouldn't have bought my house on mortgage. Since 2020, my business has been going through ups and down. Yet, I still consistently pay all my business taxes, mortgage tax, loan tax, EDC. I'm the breadwinner. Over 30 people depending on me, dollar rising almost every day, foil eye, diesel eye, everything expensive. Sorry. But still, I was given three, three months to pay over 18 million. How? The money we make, the bills are so overwhelming. Even to save is a problem. Which kind of business will you people have me do to make a profit of 18 million to pay you this period? Why is my payment plan being denied? Why? Guys, please don't blame celebrities who chose not to speak up or lend their voice. Doing so comes with a lot of consequences. She wrote that and I've seen a lot of comments um, people sending it to me asking me for my opinion and stuff like that. I read a lot of comments under that a particular post and I'm going to say I am a little bit disappointed. Hear me out. Based on the fact that the name or perhaps I'll say the nickname of Queen Mother given to her and I'm going to say this is a little low, a like a little low of Yabu Ojo to want to use um, emotional blackmail, to want to manipulate emotional, uh, you know, blackmail of the public over this um, tax issue with the government or no tax issue with the government. That's the way I see it. And the reason being that she said she wrote she has not been paying her tax from 2000 since 2014. She's owing to 2022. So this is an accumulated tax. It is an accumulated tax. She said she had to write an apology letter. That is she acknowledging that yes, I've not been paying my tax. I am owing. So that is she acknowledging pe ohun o kin son tax ohun je gbe se tax she writing the apology letter is literally an acknowledgement on her part that yes she's owing tax and to my surprise most people that are supporting these are people that live abroad that they themselves they know what tax or no tax is that some of them that they don't even have business abroad pay more than this money that Yabo Joe is lamenting, you know, emotionally want to emotionally, you know, blackmail us over consigning against the government. And may I remind you, this is an accumulated tax of overtime. This is not because she is this tax or no tax issue that she has been dealing with with the government has nothing absolutely nothing to do with our lending our voice i mean it is an issue that has been going on between her and the government way before she started lending her voice voice for the voiceless so to say or supporting labor party or new labor party Jolo support labor party i mean this she i don't know why she wants to come you know uh, uh, she wants to 
combine these two things together, which to me, I don't think it's the same. And it's while abroad, most of it, I don't even have a business, so to say. You people, I'm sure you people pay tax. Some of you even pay more than this amount that she's talking about. Those of you that are abroad, I don't even have any business. She has a lot of businesses restaurant bar boutique she just opened another business of recent her husband paul is a blessed a billionaire and yabo is flying first class back and forth you know showing different wealth on social media you think the government or the tax people are blind they don't see all those things your display of wealth on social media. You think they don't see all these things? And this tax issue that you are talking about now, it has absolutely nothing to do with you lending your voice for the voiceless. It is, in, it is an issue that you and the government, you have been dragging with the, the government have been dragging you over your, your tax payment way, way before you started lending your voice for the voiceless. It is low for her to want to join this thing together just to, you know, to uh, emotionally blackmail the public into thinking the government are coming for her because she's lending her voice. The fact that she wrote an apology letter to the government is an acknowledgement of her that she accepted that she's owing and she has done this way before she started lending a voice for the voiceless or way before she supported LP in a Labour Party. This emotional blackmail that she's bringing into this tax issue or even bringing this uh, tax issue to the social media is low, like literally low for her. I see a lot of comments saying, let's create a good food me for her to help her pay this and that. And I'm like, really? FMA Buo Misunu Odo. 18 million era is too much for her to pay. This is an accumulated tax from 2014 to 2022. Oh, to Tijela to 2020, 2014. Obviously, she has been evading tax payment all these years long. Now that the government are taking it up with her, she thinks they are wish her because she's supporting this person or because she's lending her voice for this person. This is emotional blackmail. Lo duty to me. The fact that she even brought it on social media, can it can it be resolved on social media, number one? If you have a tax issue with the government, is it is social media the place for you to bring it to is it on social media that it that you resolve it with the government is it not supposed to get um tax lawyer and you know get into the government and then you know fixing it up with your lawyers and stuff like that to the appropriate authorities in in order for the steps for you to take bringing into social media is for what exactly to join it that they are which hurting you because you did not support you've been having this issue with the government way before you you supported lp way before you support you started lending your voice you acknowledge in the letter to them to tiko before koto koto support the labor party loti collector see joba before koto my land voice eh loti Jake be say taxi, Lutie Jake be say taxi to call le. So, Kilo to show one join it together and listen, Penny to the poor lend voice, say, I've been to the post of party, Labour Party, or when you want shame which or take pay, Kuwa song be say taxi to Jay. Toti Jelati twenty fourteen, Titi Bat, twenty Titi Dinner last year, twenty twenty two. I mean, and you this all this your display. Of all the social media, I be is it fake life? Because all your displays of wealth, one would think eighteen million naira is, is supposed to be a chicken change for a personalities 
like you not even talk about the status of your husband so to say and you have a lot of businesses And you display a lot of wealth on social media. The tax people, the government are not blind. They see everything. There are a lot of rich people that don't come to social media to display their wealth. Tell you, you want to want to make a to to I be wanting any business to to I be over the want to to you. And in time, be like bro, tell any business go go. And some tax to do a little gone low. And me no in some tax. To do a little to your bone, but to sort of a little re. Is your bar whether the government are using the tax for the appropriate thing or not? But you are everybody should pay their tax. Are you encouraging her that she shouldn't pay tax because she's a celebrity or because the government don't use the tax money to do what they're supposed to do? So that means that she shouldn't pay her tax, like really. This emotional blackmail of ah bringing into social media to me is just a, an emotional blackmail. I'd like I'm more expecting such petty action from someone of a caliber like her. Like I'm more, like I'm I'm so I'm so down like uh uh yeah but Queen Mother is over like oh to join alone now. Oti ni ju pelu tak pelu joba lati gba wo si gba wo ko to ma voice ni ko to support she bi lati eni labor party or no labor party this is way before labor party or no labor party you have a a, a tax collector lawyer that's what people you should engaged to go to the court to sort these things out bringing it to social media to want to emotional blackmail the public you know, twisting it that the government are coming for you because you did this, because you do that. To me, it's it really, really not necessary. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's this witch auntie that she said, it's like, really? O collect ako acknowledge si joba. O te ko bubele before ko to support Labour Party to so. O te ni shu tax la ti gba wala ti 2014, ti ti di 2022. To de ti be joba le lori. To koleta si mo. To bebe. Like you shot yourself in the leg. If you think the tax that to mo bu fwa yipo ti kpo ju. Oh, ni koleta o ni aknolej o ni bebe na o. And bringing it to social media is for what exactly? For the public to pay for you or for the public to attack the government for you? Like I don't get it. I don't know lawyers, I don't know people that are doing this kind of tax issues. But when you want to change that, because tax last 2014, TTD, but TTD last year. Like, how? I get because of the previous um, government, a uh, governor, in Abonde, Mohamed Abonde, I think, according to Bebo, she tries to get with some Olu, but. Some old wife no agree. Me she penetrate into some old. I get that is how she has been evading tax all this year long. Oh, my tambo de jolly, dear pop bunny, you know, what been concerned. But this present governor, she wasn't able to penetrate him. I guess that's the reason why. I don't think she even sees that she's supposed to pay tax whatsoever. Lending your voice, supporting a party has nothing to do with paying your tax. Bringing it to social media is not the appropriate place to get this sorted. It is a law for you as a queen mother, someone of your caliber, with all your display of wealth back and forth. You that you can spend more than twenty thousand dollars to go and fix your teeth you can spend twenty thousand dollars to fix your teeth that's lo remember when she did that that she says she spent twenty thousand dollars that is she yeah your book boy you won't finish when you see white that she went to do in she france i'll be spinning i'll be where i'll be jamming rather 
that you have to go and do your bomb bomb in a clerical cosmetic surgery. Display of wealth, you are flying first class back and forth, even your children and, and all these displays of wealth. Bao leti millionaire she wa je owo to poju loju e ele ya mi lenu o ka te yo to ko e kuro that a husband is a billionaire we should do we should just be a change that that one will pay for her if you somebody can spend twenty thousand dollars in doing just teeth how is 18 millionaire tax how is that person knowing tax from 2014 to 2022 how and then you bring it on social media to want to join in to manipulate and emotional blackmail the public i mean is this necessary it is a low blow for yabo honestly speaking that's just my own opinion and i don't think the government is which hurting her like she claimed i don't think so but this issue has been on way before she started being the voice. I mean, she started supporting Labour. Labour Party was just last year now. So, in Koto Jora, one long join more and one. Lati, lati, she makwa wa public. A lot of us are like we are very gullible. The people that you are seeing your voicing for are the ones in your comment section even abusing you. Did you go through all that? I want to support voice. They are the one that are either having abusing it. How can you be owing it as a OU? You have a lot of businesses under you. Your display of wealth is 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 on the high side. Show why you're killing your bank, your major tax. Go why you come and complain by eighteen millionaire. I mean, or to work with social media for that matter. I don't think that's the appropriate place to. I mean, <laughs> oh girl. Anyway, I be fake. I be booking content. All the displays of wealth are just fake life. Are they just fake lives? <laughs> Believe celebrity at your own risk. So prophetess, I be prophet. I be prophetess. Can they or shaba? And uh, Mobat's father, and uh, you need and her husband that came out to drag her for calling him a security tout or Mopo Abi Odali. I'm sure you've know. I, I mean, watch the video, then uh, we discuss quickly. Watch the video first. <laughs> A mini bodyguard, there is a country to go down in the shadow of Baba Mobat, Kuru Balen. A mini one penny security for Kua and security law. No Balen. No one let a less mobile like Kuru Balen. Mumbo Music, a young man, a mini motel, let us be told for you. A mere call, a call, yeah. Don't talk to you. Don't know what you do. And security, man. And look, you got to listen to me. You said to share it. And you know what to do. Now, boys, you know what to do. 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 Ou <coughs> 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 Tu <coughs> 
I get to move by you. No one saw you come on security. A million security. You are stupid, you man. Be. Me, Monto, Ento, me off on Tony for the show. You don't get back. I want you to see your leg or I want you to hear you. They don't share. I know you are good. Don't fool me, go to the commercial machine. So, I should tell you, you are liar. Let me be your coy idea. Let me tell you for the security, for security, no bayan. Idiot, yeah. Why me will be on the answer? Can the Oshoba? Why me will be on my own money? Keep it at the root, you are killing the children of the year. I won't tell you, you are the food to be in your car. O dire Olorun bala wa wa. Emi ni wa pe ni o security love. Gbogbo to se ni 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 to so yi. Gbogbo eni ma je keyan mo Nigeria gbo. Gbogbo eni ma so fun pata. O ti ni story opolopo nkan go sele. Um quickly discuss about this um prophetess Kainde Oshoba. I'm sure you've seen that um video of her husband. There is a reason why the husband, the uh, um, alleged husband came out for her. But I don't think they are still married because I don't understand why the husband will come out for a wife, for his wife rather, like that. Like, uh, uh, like that, Annie, I don't understand and I, I don't want to speak about uh, a matrimonial issue with her husband. But the husband was paint that um she called him security a be bodyguard or so to say i think he was angry that um because of what um she said and to be frankly she was wrong for that she she should have just said um she and her husband and um her husband and some security followed her not by saying a bodyguard or uh, this thing and that. I think the husband picked offense with that. Probably she does not want people to know she's married or I don't understand. But that is by the way. <clears throat> the most important thing is there was a video she did proud to this one that she did as she was explaining something. You know, she went ahead to take uh, Mubat's father from Ikorodu and brought him down to Ikeja. Now, do not forget that this woman, her church or her base is actually at that same Ikorodu. But she brought uh, Mubat's father down to Ikeja probably for people that wants to. Obviously, Mubat's father cannot go to Mubat's house. That's not proper according to Yoruba tradition. So, she brought him down to Ikeja, probably in one of her houses, I don't know. But obviously, she did not rent the, uh, an apartment for him in Ikeja. But she brought him down to Ikeja um, for the sole purpose of people that want to come and probably greet him or something like that. If Ikurudu is too far for them. So, Ikeja is, you know, in the middle or something like that. I believe that was her intention. Emma Bini, you don't forget I have the flow, so my voice is kind of somehow. I believe that was her intention for bringing him down. Then she wants to take over taking care of him and all that. She, she did the one that she could do as the spirit led her, which I thank her for that. Took Baba Mobat to go and bab his head, teach him up a little bit. Even though, to me, I'm like, any tea or more, she she oh again, you know. But in Tabatu for Joe, a me wo. If um, I don't, I, I have a problem with these people that actually do help, help someone, and then bring it on social media to broadcast. Like I'm more understanding that aspect. Because if she had not posted where Mubat's father was getting a haircut <clears throat> or teaching me up or something like that, 
people would not have the one that um, Femi Branch said. I totally understood and respected what the actor Femi Branch. I'm sure you've all seen his video. What he said. Baba <clears throat> I understood and I, you know, I like the aspect in which um, the actor of Femi Brand spoke, you know, from, I'm sure you've seen the video of that, which is, by the way. But then, you cannot still hinder people that want to help. If you think it is when justice is being served or when he's being buried is when people should start helping out people might not be interested by that time okay people might not be interested by that time i remember timothy's case when he was the encounter that i encountered that uh, i did doing this thing people started donating money for his wife and his family and his mother and all that even though he was not buried yet and justice has not gotten people started donating money so it is not, to me, it's not a big deal, so to say. Even though the money donated to his mother, I don't think it is necessary to me. And the father is being neglected. I mean, how can a pastor give the mother 10 million naira? What about the, the, the man, the father, the, the one that actually suffered to raise him? The mother wasn't there when he was being raised. Everything that Mubad is today is all thanks to his father because his mother did little we all know the story how the story goes down that's by the side but before i continue there's this question that i kept asking and i've not seen anyone give me a reasonable answer to it now this is the question the show that mobad went on thursday i mean on sunday the last show you went on thursday where he had a fight with his friend Abi and also with his wife, Umi. My question is this. It is different. Umi is married to Mubad and they just have a baby, a five-month-old baby. I mean, why did she follow him to that function, to that show? Does she normally follow Mobad to every show, to every function before? Proud to them getting married, be proud to them having a child. Show man tell you okay. Lo si show, lo si biche. Ni bobo bani. So, but if she normally does, but this time around, she they are married, and only a more five month old baby. So, Obama no Danny, Abom Obama le le, Obama shum shuma le le. Owa tell you kolo show ni koro du. Ani ye ni ko ye mi pe kini wu mi tell le. Oko lo she ni show. Show man tell le lo show tell le tell le ni. Because she's on Tom Olowo, Oma Munyo Olowo, five month old baby, and then she followed him to show with the five month old baby is that how is that the kind of marriage that um she and mobad practice because i still don't understand what wumi was doing at that show that particular day if she were if to buy a woman tell you or show proud to them getting pregnant and having a child it's understandable but this one is they have she has a baby baby and then she followed him to show i mean that I've not seen anybody give me a reasonable answer as to that. Now, that's, let's hang that one there. Now, if um, Kendi Oshaba have not posted the makeover she gave Mubat's father, which me, I, I don't think it is necessary the way she posted it and all the makeover. 
I don't think it is necessary for all those things to be posted. You brought him down to Ikeja according so that people can come and you know see him, pay him condolence visits and all that because it could do my might be far to some people, which is understandable and a very good intention. I give her kudos for that once again. But then all the makeover that you were doing for it and all sort of things like that, I don't think it is it needed to be broadcast, but she did all that probably so that people will start maybe donation for her in order for her to help the man more better or blah 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 i don't know that aspect but that's just i mean it is proper to reason to that angle too because most of celebrities or pastors or whatever that, that have been on this case 99 percent of them are just catching crews and trying to you know benefit from it not all of them are doing it with a pure intention some want the fame the accolade the noise and all that which removes sentiment you will understand what i'm saying now she did a video and i think mobat's father has gone back to ikorodu then she she said she had an agreement with mobat father not to put his account out until Mubad is being buried. That that was what she had discussed with Mubad's father. I think she just wanted anything. She wants to be the one responsible for Mubad's father so that she will be the one to probably put the account out or maybe her own account or people will reach out to her or oh, want to give you this so that you can keep taking care of Moba Mobad or want to give you that, you know, blah, 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 things like that. You know, people, obviously don't, uh, donors, as even if she puts the man's account, people will donate to the man's account and still reach out to her. She too, she will get her own fame and all that based on what she did for the man. Mm -hmm. Some people will want to appreciate her. And from there, some a lot of people that don't even know her will know her. And do not forget, she's in the business of a prophetess. We all know it's all business, religion, as a whole. Now, we talk, Baba Mobat has gone back to Ikorodu, and then she started seeing other platforms putting Mobat's father's account number online so that people can help the ones that want to donate. E.g. Buki Jesse's Yinkati and and the rest. Which means I don't see anything bad in it. But she came out and did a video and started indirectly want to insult Mubat's father. That because she be they had an agreement that it is until Mubat that the man said um, she shouldn't put his account number out yet or ask for donation that he wants to wait till Mubat is being buried before doing all that. But I believe she just wants that to come from her own platform. But then she now saw it that other bloggers have put their account out. So, so I guess she believed Mobat's father was the one that gave those bloggers the account number to put out. Meanwhile, she already, you know, she felt probably betrayed by Mobat's father in that aspect. I believe that was a frustration when she came out to do um the video where she did and said eh, i don't want to put that uh, that video here but it is on and at least nikat and stein kati and she spoke about it that mobat father honestly does not need a permission to put his account numbers out does not need a permission to speak to other people I think she does not want other people to speak to him, to talk to him. She just wants everything to come from her own platform, to be only the one so responsible for the whole thing. Which, which may I believe, majority that are helping, are, you know, maybe are help, actually she wants something in return. Like it's not from like pure, because I don't know why she would get angry that um mobad father gave other bloggers um account number meanwhile he told her to wait till mobad is being buried before putting out her account number or for donation or for anything like that 
no, Mobad father does not is not a kid, is not a baby. And she cannot be controlling him. I think she wants to control him, but she cannot be controlling him. Prophetess uh, Kendi Eshoba is a man, a full grown man. He does not need to take permission from you to speak to other bloggers or to give or to authorize other bloggers to put his account out. He does not need to take permission from you whatsoever. He doesn't need to do that. Unless all the help I be the makeover be whatever you did for him, you were hoping to get something in return. Because if not, I don't understand why you would get angry <clears throat> over that. It's not like you had a written agreement with Mubad Dad. If he told you that he wants you to hold off, putting his account out, at the same time, he spoke to other bloggers and probably whatever they discussed, he decided to tell them to put it out you don't know that aspect of it so and then he does not need any permission from you to do whatever he wants to do at any time he wants to do it he doesn't need to take permission from you he doesn't need to tell you first he doesn't need to do all that he does not need to do all that he did not beg you to come and pick him to ikeja to give him a makeover or this and no he showed you a lesson so I think she was she's wrong in that aspect. Then she came out to explain this video that you, that you just watched now, where her husband came out to bash her over that video, claiming that Mubat's father was uh, kidnapped. I wanted to be kidnapped, almost kidnapped by a girl of like a twenty-three years old girl. The girl came to the house and was asking Mubat. You know, she just narrated the whole story. And to me, the whole story is not worth for me to play to analyze because I think I will analyze, I will play to analyze on, on, on the Facebook, but on YouTube, I don't want to bore you people with it because it just sounded out to me like, she, tomba fe, kino fe, kid, no, ba, wan, kino fe, kidnap, baba, muba, the fool, in the first place. She, tomba fe, kidnap, baba, muba, she, almost 23 years old. O, be, any, lo, fe, lo, kidnap, baba, muba, the ni, a, bi, bi, ti, ba, wo. And she said, uh, she had to go there when they called her and that the girl at a point she even said when they called her that the girl is looking they call baba mobad and that the girl is looking for him that she's waiting blah 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 and that they even told them at home to give the uh, the lady he doesn't know who the person is uh two thousand era for transport fair she ain't to feel kidnapping you baba mobad in my phone in your new motto i mean it's, the, that storyline is not even adding up but she said the, the person has been apprehended and taken to uh, zone two to police station for interrogation who sent her and the rest of it but i don't think that is a case of baba mobad wanting to be kidnapped by a 123 years old girl or whatever but she did mention him that it is probably a pastor or something that sent her or so i don't know that she first said the lady said she's pregnant for mobad Later, she said, no, Baba Mumba should give her one million era. Uh, later, Baba Mumba should give her money. Can you can you somebody sent her? I mean, the whole story was not even adding up to me. Because, I mean, you, she, what kind of kidnap person? Like, I don't get it. She's 23 years old, Kelefi, what kidnap Baba Mumba? He's not like living alone. He's mourning. So there are a lot of people in his house. How is it possible for the girl to actually kidnap the Baba from there, from Ikoruru in his house? I mean, it's not... That story is just very pathetic and don't want to bore you with it. Suddenly, her husband came out. Now, what this kind of Shaba does not understand is that it is not as if Baba Mobad spoke to the Kanti NT or all, all those bloggers that put his account out. Do not forget, a lot of people have his account proud to you going to take him to Ikeja taking him for makeover, blah, blah, blah. Some people have his account. He's not even the one that gave Buki Jesse or Yinkanti Eti his account number himself. Like, he didn't speak to them. He wasn't the one that gave them the account number. The people only the people that have it, it could be his friend, younger sister, whatever, that gave one blogger the account number, and that one pick, another blogger picked it from that platform and posted it on her own. Because people were reaching out to those bloggers that they want to help him, they want to help him, they should find his account number. So 
But Mobad Father wasn't the one that spoke to those bloggers, gave them his account number for them to pull it out. No, he wasn't the one that did that. Account number, Baba Mobad, the one, tele, tele. Proud to all this investigation, control of Wuoku, control of Shegba, control of Shagbon. So I won't continue to what tele, tele, Baba Mobad, call, look, be our bloggers, and you call if I can't miss it, like, oh, call, oh, He's not the one that did that. So people have it proud to all this. But when people started coming out, how people were donating money for Yamobad, Toshon Lobi Ori Toshongi for 15 years, Tongbo Mole, and it told you Lori Omo, because anybody to not say, imagine a pastor giving Mobad's mother 10 million era. Like, seriously for real? What about the father? She aye ya lo konri wani. E mo kwe a won bire mi yi wato te kwe won ki nsha bi amon. Won fo bo won bi mo bo won nsha bi amon. A won ba, a won kwe mi yi wa. Won shi a bi amon ju obi ni to fo bo bi mo gon lo. E yi konu won ni baba bo mba di hi. A bi amon ni. Despite the fact bo je o konri. Yuru won de shon won. Yi ya mo ba di mi o le kwe. Pe a bi a mo kan lo titi ni ya mo bad. Mo sorry. E mi opinion te me ni. That's my own opinion. And when this boy was sick and everything, they didn't tell his father. If he listened to how he narrated the whole thing the day he died. The first calling and said he's sick. He started coming. The letter told him to go back. After he already reached Lekki. Meanwhile, the mother... His junior is Mubas' step brother from another that the mother bought for another man who was there in the house. He told Je, Omo ba bai, fun la rai. Abu ro Mubas di kan wa anile kwe lu wun me. Ongbe kwe lu wun be. Inye Abu ro step brother. That is the one that the mother, you know when the mother left Baba Mubas, when she did what she did and left, she went to remarry and have three children with the other one and to the other person. Now, one of those child that she had with that with the other man is staying with Mubad, is, is, is staying in Mubad's house. Meanwhile, the one that is Mubad's uh, blood gogonto that is Omo Ya Omo Baba. Omo Metasha and Ya Mubad if briefing Baba Mubad Mubad in the Kankan. None of those ones are living or did Mubad even take to come and join him? He didn't even do anything for his elder sister to Kotelo for that matter. Omo is okay or spiritual opo nunu or Mubad. Once completely she would do Mubad, Kulo Lodo Babai at Aomo Aburwe at a bent to Kulo Lodo Babai. Once she would do a Kulo Laram. Our focus, Ojue, Lori, Yahweh, at our way, be Yahweh, at the yai, at the our moti yai, be simple me. Now, this came me Oshoba's husband. The matter no clear. Even if your wife said those things, it is a privacy. She might not want anybody to know she's married. That be wants to know her husband is a policeman that you said you are, or, or whatever. But coming out to come and bash your wife like that because of what she said, I mean, this matters deep. Oh. I don't understand this kind of husband deal. You do a koile yiku ye me. Are they still together? I don't think they are. I think she just called him when she, she uh, thought it was a big thing when she was going to Mubat's father's place at Ekorodu where they said one girl want to kidnap him, I be this and that. That he went with his own security and all that. How is uh, Prophet Eskende Oshoba having securities, mopos up and down? I don't, what is all these pastors that are working in? That they are having security follow them back and forth. Like, I don't understand. Only your control left by me. Yene. Anointing along with the guidance. Yene. Oh, that one. You take the religion story and go all the people. Emma Ruro ni shoshi kwe ke ruro kwe nko koni pale. Miwa pasa toto ruro fun yi. 
could unlock the security details back and forth. Mm -hmm. And Mubat father was really grateful for Kemi Oshoba for taking care of him and and the rest. This man has not had anybody looked after him since his son died. All the support and dignity that have gone to pay respect to Mubat's mother completely ignored the father. They didn't even know the father was alive. As if the father, and it is, it is not in Yoruba culture for the man. So people will say because the woman is in Mubat's house. No, the father cannot go and stay in Mubat's house. He will Yoruba. He cannot even be present where he will be buried. He cannot see the corpse of his child because he won. And he explained that that, that was one of the reasons why he buried him quickly because doctor so they call it fujuro kwe ewo ni ki ya ki obi ko fujuro ko omo e abi ki obi gbe omo ko lo gbe omo si ewo ni ni le yoba so for those of you that are bashing the man you need to understand that in yoruba culture it is it is a taboo for a parent to carry their child to bury their child to see the corpse of their child to be there where the child is being buried ewo ni ni le yoruba ewo ni so I think Kemi Oshoba just, I mean Kendi Oshoba rather, I'm sorry, just wants to be the one to shoulder the whole thing so that everything we, you know, we come from, everything will come from her because I don't understand why, eh, eh. because to me, I think she just wants to use Baba Mubad for her own selfish interest and to even put this innocent man in bondage, like, that's just my own because I don't know why she's going to get angry that other bloggers are posting the account number of Baba Mubad and then she had a deal with Baba Mubad. I mean, that is totally different. Other bloggers, they don't speak to him. People that have it are the ones I give them. She even said that when she went to Baba Mubad, said that the police woman slapped her. <laughs> That area is not clear. But uh, we are waiting for her to reply the husband so that the husband too will come out with enough amiable for us to hear the gist very, very well. But this old man that claimed to be the husband self gone. You do a call that you cannot settle whatever your wife inside house like i don't understand you claim to be a prophet too and came out to be talking talking abby even if she call i can but it's disrespectful to even call your husband a, a security like it is disrespectful but that is not enough reason for the husband for the acclaimed husband to come on social media to come and spew to come and talk the way he did that will get us a bill. I'll be killing a feeling in you. A car, 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 a if you tell you see me, I say, my dear, thank you so much. Ah, I need to learn to reach me. I say, I like you. Nati, I go. If you need solution, I go back. Lori fertility treatment. Sherry fertility treatment. Ele. You know, self fertility treatment. Look good. I need to look good. Meji. Look where you come. But if you need to talk to me, you need to look good. Ele. So you need to buy me face. But a jack in one little queer and little buffalo, a boy, two bashi, period polybo. King shall not woman post with fellow, could I shall not go more period with the fellow. The buffet, a bottom of fairy period, me, and you washing and set to your pretty period, or be only two woman post, two period with a low, two day, a few period with a low, in time, a quick, a good belay, a ma, a consumer, a ma, who had the service, Latin. 
attend the singing. This is this one particularly. It's facility. Facility in set in metan. The bani fe a kusi a good place solution and other in long. Ferry ani a go diabetes. I brought pressure. I brought pressure. Lily, by a man send the lee. La rola. I won't shag with your slave. And it's over order. La machine slave. There was order for the fe. A shark will care order for the fe. Jotaba fe care order for a lot of joke. A joke I'm a send this thing. I'm send all over the world. Except Canada now. Canada new back. I send it for now. Fam. Oh, a little bit. Nice, see what? Come on, more bad, more nice, more. So, I know this should be shared. Go, I know you community. Only problem for you. Spam, which is spam cans. I need a go spam cans. I need high blood pressure. I need diabetes. I need arthritis. Don't want you to buy one quid. I walk up. I need anti stroke. I need a go jetty. We lay in sin a good jetty, a good jetty. This is ordinary jetty, the smallest one. We lay any a good jetty. This is a good jetty, a good jetty or pain ali jetty at a pain ali three one. Fun of coin to change me give me that letter to what then don't share your con. I need a colleague, I need a da kole wa afato wa ko ko ni ko fe gbe nkan si ko 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 le tele ko tun je nu le bayi baba ki lo de ki la nje ero ra je sugar ejo o e ba je ko won obirin yen salo o ejo o yin daddy ni ero ra je sugar o ani lori shi shi lori shi shi ko te ba ti fe e ko si wa ani o se ani agbo kokoro kokoro ni eje ani o se ti nkan ba rin ni ara yan bayi ke pe a ma so yan je o sa pa gbo bile ani agbo ani ose ko te ba ti fe e so fun ako ama ba yin se o de ma se se to ma je fun yin o ko so tin je fun awon kan tele o de ma je fun yin awon to ni awon to ni le yi a je ko je fun yin eleda tin gun a je ko je fun yin e se mu dupe eyin olori fe mi lo ti lo si a tun pada wa lori obirin ti oko won ma nba won sun doko ma sun gbalaja ti ye pe won ni perform to ba ya baba yan gan lo ma ko de listen ti ko ni choice because a kan sun ni ara wo miss bi ayin gan papa eyin daddy wa kan e fo won ko bi to ye ke fo won kan e o pa wa black man aburu gan ta ba ti ba ti dide ba ma sare se ile ko se se kese ni pero e je to si won da mummy wa na die die ko won na le feel ko feel e komo komo pe nkan won anbe nkan be e ti te ba de fi de e pa gbo idile seri oyin re oyin re e ti re sweet onion ni e ba lo dadi wa ko ma gba drink dadi wa ma so fun pe won o ti sweet ya ko ni this day still on look ke to leave me none o ri yin ni o a ni a lorun yin mi o o kun ni o ba si na yi obirin wahala ni o atun ni sweet ni kon re it's very sweet, you know. Sweet nan. Sugar cake sweet, you know. Wow, very, very, very effective. And the powder, you put the bath in. Yeah, be a wiggy. Let's say, you got. Oh, good, well, you got bad. Get ready. Get ready. Sweet nan, man. Very effective. And the tea. Get ready, tea, 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 tea. I know she wishy. I need the mafia sugar, eh, the mafia, eh, cookie. I need the mafia, tell your pretty ordinary tipo. I need because I consume it, and I won't miss. Be I ain't got papa. Ain't that the wagon, eh, for one cup to a cup for a cup. Eh, papa black one, I would go. I want to watch it, dear, I'm a sorry, she left what I can say. You know, I just thought she, your mother, mommy, why not, dear, dear. Come on, only feel. Come feel it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's tell by the feed day, the pack with the leg. Sherry, oh, you're oh, you're it. Sweet onion, the ballo. That you are going to bad drink. 
That is why I'm so much for more to sweet ya. This day, still on look. Get to leave me now. Only in you. I need a loan in me. Open your bassin, I will be on your line. I turn you sweet in me. Only a three sweet in my sweet nan. Sugar face sweet in me. Why, very, very, very impressive. I need powder. You put the bathroom. Yeah, be a ugi. Let's say you got. Oh, good girl, you got bad. Get ready. Get ready. Sweet na na. Very impressive. I need tea. Get ready tea tea wa. Tea wa. I know she know she. I need the ma sugar. Eh, the ma fi um cookie mo. I need the ma fi. The dia put tea ordinary tea mo. I need the dia put the black the ma lo. The ba shen lo ba mama waiting. Mama pe. Oni where are you? I'm missing you. Come on. Ete mama kwe niye. E lo be lo on tu ti ra. On ro yi. E jyo to di o lo on yi yami. E an kwa mwa kwa ren. Ni yon basi bi mwa meji mye ta. Mwa an sa lo. Mwa la mwa basi oro ke de kwa mbi kwa. E jyo o. E ma jyo sa lo. Ani ta yi kini. Te yon kwa ta ba fi fwa be ba yi. Wa la wana kwa mwa kwa ti da di mbe. A le di ba ba yi. Dadu wa kwa mwa fwa wwa le kwa mwa. E mama wa ki lo ro kwa ta mwa kwa ta mwa kwa ta mwa kwa ta mwa kwa mwa kwa ta mwa kwa Go back to tighty, era lubricant in pharmacy care. The man just come and fix saliva, see in label. Oh man, five fashion. Saliva, man, five fashion. Me, me, this is so bad for you. Me, so bad for you. See, me take time with you. A job. Ah, baby, just fix him. Twenty, twenty. A magba. A job. A little lubricant. A little lubricant. Where the lubricant? A little baby oil. I'll go lay me. Bukbe inti bukbe eto she kuku diya katu. E jyo yra tight ni. U le da da ko duru. Da du wama le goju ta wuga wama gwe de to wanta ansi ni. Olo nko sha ami wawo. E jyo wwe ma jakon sa lo. O shi wulo fun wa e jyo wwe ma jakon sa lo. E jyo turi yon lo yon lo mo kube nyon. E yin yon lo lo femi. E shi mwen dupe. Yon li etu. Etu diya ta sa rara she la leg. E jyo turi yon lo yon. Cherry skin, cherry bubble, cherry bubble bubble gon fake ba. Bubble gon she want some. On she, on she she spare. On she in. Cherry on she. Cherry wa wa she i, on she i. On she in she she o. Wa ra on Tony gon 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 dots 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 ke ni lara la ya ni bubara o ma yo bubble kuro on she i. O bi fun ami gon gon ni on she. O unde ni mulo. Mi ni me kopu lo ju o, e wo, e wo ju mi. O si me kopu, lipstick yi la son niko na vayi la chetan kwe si wa lo ju yi o. O si me kopu, o si nko konfiye tuli, fye tuli. O si me kopu, this is my natural face. O she yi ni, pati fi yi la ro, patale. E nde tu wadye kwe kodu e da, pati, aray yama jole yama bere kore, ki lo lo. E kon si agbo yi bile. Ma ba yin she, ma tu fi esra, esra to shi si. Te kpe ma ma glo yi. E kbo, e kpa gbo yi bile yo. Lori 070-63-55-9591. Repeat, 070-63-55-9591. E kpa gbo yi bile yo. Te ba le, miz nomba mi, e kpe SMC a sa re wo. SMC wo anbe fun wa. Tori e la she ni lo wo. SMC fun a re. Awa nomba mi jade fwa ni. E gyo le yuwa fwa yon. Fwa yon. Ini tu me banja. Breaking hair. Kuma jek yon nou gon. Fwa yon rame ni mwoshe le. Owa infetif. Very nice. Owa. Owa. Owa an le nsen. Mwon koti mwon fwa yon rame she ni mwon kwa lo wo. She ti gbo. So any tin te ba nid. E gyo mwon wa fwa yon. God bless you. Bless us also. Ou ben yon lo lo femi, te trust mi. Te femi lo di, te em femi mi. Te em pe mi. Te em fon an kostoma e mi ni nan ba mi. O lo wan ba mi, ke yon ba mi. To yon le yon ba mi, to yon nan yon. Le yon ni da wo, nan yon ni da wo. O she mou du kwe, kou femi ni go go ba. Thank you so much. Mou du kwe, mou du kwe, mou du kwe lo wo yon. I really appreciate you people. Thank you so much. Te ba ni di ni, te pa bo yon. Elle est en Michel, c'est peut-être elle est en Michel.
Wow. Service, you go get again. Thank you so much. God bless you.